Well, hi! I'm going to try to teach you a little something about matching the video to the audio in Premiere Pro. I never claim to be a great teacher, but hopefully you'll learn something by accident today. I'm going to just bring in a clip that I have that I've never used before. This is me at a lake. And I'm going to pick about 40 seconds here. And we'll start it right at my wave, so. And I'll do a backwards and up, revealing the beautiful sunset in the background. I forget the name of this place. Probably couldn't find it again if my life depended on it, but it sure was pretty that day. By the way, when you're filming sunsets and sunrises when you go up with your drone you can actually bring that sun back up look at it ah oh, you have the power so there we go that's a good length bring that over into your timeline and we'll extend that out to about 40 seconds all right so this is the clip we want to use now got to find some music for it let's go over to my friends at epidemic sound here that's epidemicsound.com link in every one of my descriptions and you can browse by album by category let's pick motivational and inspiring positive pace that sounds good uh, let's see what this sounds like Oh, I like that. All right, let's download that one. So what we're going to try to do is take a three minute long song and edit it down to the 40 seconds that you need to use for the video. Bring the music over into your project. And let's see what it sounds like just as is with the video. That's really good actually because in the beginning here you'll notice and I'm going to enlarge this by double clicking on it. I want the music to kind of kick in when the camera starts moving. So right now it's still and then right when it kicks in, see there, we can even make that a little tighter if you want. Just figure out when right about there and we can slide that music over a little bit. And it might look better. Yeah. All right. So just like that. Ripple delete. Just like that. So the problem is that you've got all of this music left over. And you want it to end right here. How do you do that? Again, I don't know your individual skill level at computers or this program. And I'm using it on a PC. I don't know the controls for Mac. So, sorry, <laughs> but so go over here to where your video ends and you can see there's actually a good opportunity here for editing. So grab the razor blade, chop you off a portion here where you want it near where you need to do the editing, right click, open it in audition. Listen to where you want it to end is right about right there on that downbeat. So what I do, this is just me, the technique I've been using, I find that downbeat right there and then I will highlight a little bit to the right and then mute it. Just so that when I stretch out and I'm, uh, I'm stretching in and out the sound file with the wheel on the mouse, just by itself. So that when you stretch it out you can see where you need to edit. And go to the end of the song, 
find you a downbeat. All right, it ends on an upbeat. We can do that. So just end it on the upbeat, right? All right, so that's where you need to be. Go to the end, find that cool upbeat. All right, grab that right about there, highlight it. Right click, copy, go back to your edit. And right click, paste that right in there. Now you can go in tight and make sure that there's no space. Now let's give it a listen. Right? So that's a good ending. Now you got all this left over. Just highlight it, delete it. Now save, and that will, after you close it, flip back over, and it will have saved it for you in your project. By the way, I'm flipping between by using Alt-Tab on a PC. So still have your razor blade here. Cut that off at the end. Delete there. Now let's see how that looks when it ends. Now, you can fade by using a video transition dissolve here at the end. Some people like to do that. And I'm going to bring that over here. Let's see how that looks. That's snazzy, but you can also, what I like to do sometimes, is just end the video right on the upbeat, which would be right here. Now let's see how that looks. It's a little more dramatic. There you go. All right. Now let's see how the whole thing looks. Again, I'm going to put a little film dissolve on the front. A little long fade in. And here we go. Pretty good. And uh, Epidemic Sound is about $140 a year. If you would like to monetize your channel, it's a great deal. You can't beat it. And they've got endless selection of stuff. EpidemicSound.com. Well, I hope I learned you something. Again, I'm not a very good teacher. All this stuff is second nature to me. I've been working with Premiere for about 11 years. And, uh, you know, my advice to you would be, don't be overwhelmed by the capabilities of this program because even after so many years, I only know about 40% of what it can do and only use what you need to use. If you're making a project and you come up to a roadblock, then just go ahead, do what I did. Go on YouTube, find a video like this one that'll help explain how to get through it. And then you'll learn that way. At least that's what I did. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you like this tip, let me know and I'll do more. Buh and bye. I'm sorry, you, you just caught me here. I'm trying to get a little organized. Organized. Yeah.